what let's do this I'm gonna give you a paper and a pen can you write down your information for me name date birth social security number what took you all the way out to Texas oh really we're about in Texas oh really is the address that's listed on your driver's license your current address can you write down your current address for me please Elizabeth, do you have a middle name? Okay. Is this your vehicle? You said yes? Okay. Do you have uh, any weapons or firearms in the vehicle on your person today? Do you have your insurance card with you? Can you have your registration as well, ma'am? Are you still with Infinity? Yes, I just, I just registered with them uh, two months ago. Yes, the reason why I'm stopping you is your side window tent, which, which I'll check here in just a minute. Is that something that you had done or something you bought the vehicle with? Yeah, unfortunately, even though you may purchase a vehicle with a window tent already on it, as the owner and the operator, you are responsible for whatever equipment is on the vehicle. Same, same concept as if you buy a car with a bad headlight or tail light or brake light or crack windshield or ball tires or something like that. It's incumbent upon you as the owner or the operator to make sure that your vehicle is um, properly equipped and the equipment is in proper working order. I'm going to measure them here in just a minute with, with my 10 meter. Can you raise up your back window about halfway? Yeah. I don't know if you can see that or not, probably not, but your back window is coming in at 2% light transmittance. As dark as you can have it on any of the windows behind the driver's seat is uh, 15. Well, we'll check this one in just a minute. So any number less than 15, the lower the number, the darker the tent, the higher the number, the lighter the tent. Can you raise up your front passenger window about the same? Your front passenger window is coming in at 13, okay? As dark as you can have it on the front driver and passenger side windows in the state of Florida is 28. So this is 15% too dark here, okay? Yep. And I'm going to come around and check some numbers on your dash here. All right, well, I'll tell you what, Miss Espinosa, I'll give you a chance to stretch your legs here. Would you just grab your keys, step back here, I'm going to check your information. Okay. Yeah, just bring a key with you, that's fine. Yeah, switch it off, and that way you're not wasting gas. Gas is too expensive to, uh... If I just have you step over here on the grass, that way we're not too close to the roadway. And you said no issues with your license today, no. correct? Okay. I have a long but I do have a picture, I don't know if you want to... Yeah, I'll, uh, I'll look at it in just a minute. Okay. Um, when did you lose your license? I you know? lost it, uh, like two, three days ago. Four days ago. Was it while you were out in Texas? Alright, if I could have you wait right here, let me check your information, okay ma'am? Thank you. Too much? Do you mind? Yeah. Thanks. Yeah. 
All right, I'm going to give you a warning notice on the window tent, okay? Um, I'm going to issue a ticket for not having your driver's license with you. All you have to do is that within the next 30 days. Just get yourself a new copy of your driver's license. Take that uh, copy of your driver's license up to the clerk's office here in Bushnell and uh, present them with the new copy of your license and that ticket will be dismissed, okay? It'll just be we're in Bush on something. Okay? I'm gonna give you all their all the information that you'll put in the line here, okay? Hey, uh, Miss Espinosa, any reason that gain on would search your vehicle? No, I don't know. Okay. Are you on the Florida Medical Marijuana Registry? I was working there, yes. You were, were working yeah, there? Yeah, I was working there. Um, I'm still part of Amazon. Okay, alright. Um, you're not uh, a, me a mar medical marijuana patient, are you? Okay, alright. He's not trained in the odor of marijuana anyway, but okay. this is just something I have to ask you. Yeah. Um, any hemp products in the vehicle today? No. no. Okay. All right. Well, trained police canine is alerted to your vehicle, so um, we're going to need to check it just to make sure there's nothing in there that okay. shouldn't be. Okay. okay. Um, you're not under arrest, okay. but you are going to be detained. Detained means that you're not free to go right now. Okay? All right. Anything on you that might poke me, stick me, or hurt me in any way? No. Can I make a comment? Yeah, give me just a minute. Let me have you step up here, Mrs. Okay. Pinoza. So go ahead and put your hands behind your head. Behind your head. Uh, I'm going to pat you down using the back of my hand and hold it in front of my camera here, okay? Can you spread your feet, please? Thank you. Am I able to make that call or? Ma'am? Am I able to make that call real yes, quick? Go ahead. Okay. You can use your phone. I just got to close this partition. Oh. Okay, I got the AC on for you. Hey, can you let Maria know to go for my kids? Um, I just got pulled over. Me acaban de agarrar. Aquí, me me acaban de agarrar. Estoy en Bush now, and um, I need I need to go pick up my kids. Estoy detenida. Yeah. Tienen, tienen, no, tienen un perro. I don't know. Me, me dieron que because of the tents. They said the tents were too dark and. There's another one here in the K9 Olio Algo, so I don't, I don't know. Okay. Bye bye. Yes, yes, I'm fine. Okay. Um, hey, this is what's going on. There's some 
items in the vehicle that we need to take a little bit closer look at. Okay. And uh, we need to inspect the vehicle a little bit further. Okay. But um, we need to put the vehicle up on a lift in order to do that. So there's a wrecker headed over this way. Um, okay. And there's a uh, his business is just right up here at the next exit just north of us. Okay. 48. So um, you're just going to hang tight with me and we're going to follow your vehicle. Okay. It's been about four months since you... If uh, you do the math on it, yeah. if that's all, let's just say it's nine kilos. You do it by the gram, two. correct. What's that? You do You do it by the gram, correct? On. Yeah, but I'm just saying if it's 2.2 pounds a kilo, yeah. if that's how it works. Yeah, it's true. I didn't think about that. Man. That's going to be yeah. Yeah, largest that's... hot, cold, you name it. Then it's cold, as cold, as cold. Yeah, you know what I'm saying? So, yeah. um, this, you couldn't, and I think there's more in there. So. Yeah, no, with that headliner. And uh, yep. pulled out that torch bit and all the other tools in there. Miss Espinosa, have you ever been arrested, ma'am? I got arrested back in 2013, yes. In 2013? Yes. What was that for? Uh, aggravated assault. Anything uh, between then and now? No. No. <laughs> what was the disposition of that case, ma'am? In other words, what happened with it? Oh, it got, charges got dropped. Within a month. Is that a domestic situation? Uh... I believe so, whatever that means. Like, I don't know what that means. Was it, okay, was it with a person in your household? Yeah, it was, it was uh, with my kid's dad. With a, yes. Okay. Yeah. person you were in a relationship yes, with? Yes, correct. Is that an apartment? Or a, yes, it's an apartment. apartment. Is there an apartment number associated with that? Or is it just the uh, 918? Well, I don't, there is an apartment number, but I don't, I don't know it, to be honest. Um, I, I think there was an envelope one. in the passenger side door that said 1107 or something like uh, that. Yeah, that that, that, right yeah to you? probably yes. Okay. Or well, 1007. Okay. Uh, yeah. Whatever that number was, there's yeah. a number written on the envelope. Yeah, yeah. So that would be your apartment yes, number? Yes, correct. You're working at Amazon now, you said? Yes. Which location? Uh, the one in Ruskin. Whereabouts in Ruston? Is it a distribution center? Yeah, it's a distribution. Yeah, that's what it is. Whereabouts is that located? I have no clue, to be honest. But well, when you go to work, what what road is it? Uh, it's on 674, but I don't I don't know the exact road because I like I I've lived in Ruston for so long. I'm sorry. Yeah. I'm not as familiar with that area. I know about the distribution center that's over there in Lakeland. On uh huh. Road. Yeah, yeah. I know And these are yours. It's okay. a warning notice for the window tent and a ticket for the okay. to not having your license with you. Like I said, as long as you take your license to the clerk's office within 30 days, okay, it'll just be a $10 service fee to the clerk's office, and uh, that'll be it. If you don't do that within 30 days, the fine amount is $116. There's no points either way. Oh, okay.
Fuck, man. Is Espinosa, you doing okay? Yeah, could I get a water or something? Water? Yeah. Yes. How's the temperature? Is it okay? It's, is it too warm? It's a little too warm. Uh, is there a bathroom I can use? Uh, yes, bear with me. Okay. That video should be here any minute unless okay. you use the restroom, okay? Okay. She should be here in a minute. Okay. Tell you what, Miss Espinosa, I'm gonna I'm not gonna cite you for not having your license. Just make sure you copy of it, okay? Okay. That way you don't have a ticket to worry about. Are you guys almost done or can you let me know what's going on? Yes, I think we're almost done. Right back. Okay. Or actually, I got one here, right here. You know, sir, um, appreciate your cooperation so far this afternoon. I know it's been a long, long day. It has been for us too. Um, I'd really like to talk to you about what happened this afternoon. Mm -hmm. um, is that something you'd be willing to, to do? Talk about what happened? the traffic stop and everything mm -hmm. okay um, well once the female deputy um, gets gets here let you use the restroom and get get all comfortable there's a, a room inside that uh, we can kind of be away from everybody and um, just like to, to interview you and see what you might be willing to tell me about what happened today okay um, what I'll do is uh, like I said, once we get in there, I'll just advise you of your rights once we get in there, and then we can, uh, we can go from there. Okay? Okay. I think you already understand what what's going on is pretty serious, though. All right. There's the email that we uh, She'll be able to escort you into the restaurant. Okay. Put your hands in there. Nothing on you. Just going to poop me. 